Hey, nice try. It's not going to work. Excuse me? This clever little plan of yours. That's clever in inverted commas, yeah. by I'm the sorry, way. Bianca, but you're going to have to speak English. I'm talking about your rubbish collection day. All I did was suggest to Miss Austin that well, two younger members of staff should get involved. I need more people to be interested, and well, you and Liam will make recycling look glamorous. You should be ashamed, April, using the environment to get us to spend time together. Yes, because my interest in the environment has always been about getting you and Liam together. Yeah, you know what I mean. And if you think bringing Romeo around here is going to make any difference, you're completely and utterly wrong. What, Romeo? Yes, he was here earlier telling me that that Liam and Nina aren't that serious. What, do you guys get together and plot these things? Well, Bianca, I had no idea that Romeo was going to say anything. I guess that just means that the fact that, that you're in love with Liam is obvious to everyone except for you. I think tomorrow's going to be fun. You good luck for today. I'm sure it'll be a great success, even without Xavier's participation. Hey, April understands. I arranged a minute with Brendan weeks ago. It's just good timing. Hey. <laughs> I mean, bad timing. Oh, well, maybe you can pop in, Mrs. Austin, at, um, at lunch. I would, but I'm catching up on some schoolwork all day, and I, I've got a lunchtime meeting with someone from the PNC. Well, on the weekend? A principal's work is never done. Uh, could you remind Brendan I'll catch up with him next week? What's wrong? She's seeing someone else. Say, so you don't know that for sure. Oh, well, the signs are there. She's coming home really late, smiling for no reason, and she keeps meeting up with people from the PNC. I've got to say, she does seem to be putting a bit more effort into her appearance. Exactly. She hasn't been this happy since she was last with Palmer. Hey, maybe she's seen Palmer. Oh, why would they keep that from me? No, it's someone else. Maybe you should just ask her about it straight up. I wish you wouldn't tell me the truth about something like this. Well, maybe you should get Palmer involved. Oh, I tried that. At least this time you know when she's meeting this guy. If there is a guy at all, you can put Palmer out of his misery. This must be a change of scenery for you. Being a famous musician one day, picking up other people's rubbish the next. Oh, really? What do you mean? You're used to picking up garbage. No, I've been using my hands in my life, actually. Unlike some who have been handed stuff on a silver platter. You sure? You're looking a little tired. No, I'm fine. But if you want to take a rest, mate, go for it. No one's judging you. I really want to see the rest of Australia. It's so big, I think I'm going to have to get a motor scooter or something. <laughs> what? Um, Bianca arrived in Summer Bay on a motor scooter. Oh, really? Well, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Man, if I had wheels now... I stole a car off an ex-boyfriend once, but he made me give it back. <laughs> Bianca also stole a car off an ex-boyfriend. <laughs> well, he probably deserved it, right? Well, yeah, come to think of it, he did. <laughs> yeah, well, don't you think it's a little drastic? Uh, uh, this guy really had it coming. Some men will try and get away with anything. <laughs> you know, you sound exactly like my sister. Well, she's a wise woman. You ever seen Lord of the Flies? All about men. Yeah, actually, it's about boys. Ah, uh, men are just tall boys, April. The sooner you realise that, the easier they'll be to handle. <laughs> woman after my own heart. You know, Victoria and Liam are sure getting into this whole clean-up thing. They look like they're about to pass out. Uh, uh, I think they're okay. They might just be having some sort of alpha male what? episode. Well, I didn't know Liam was this competitive. Oh, you'd be surprised. When he really gets into something, he can get quite involved in it. You know. <laughs> no, I haven't noticed. Oh, well, um, like when he's writing music, he can be at it for hours and <laughs> you can be in the same room and he won't even know. <laughs> That's true. He gets this really vague look on his face as he goes into his own little world. Oh, I've seen him like that with students. <laughs> uh, he'll be talking to a student, he'll get so passionate, he'll completely lose track of time. The students are always running late from his classes. Oh, he must be a really good teacher. Oh, he's fantastic. He's such a good communicator and... Well, the students are just really happy to have him back. That's that's all I'm saying. Manual labour since the last time you wrote to me into one of these things. Well, at least you got something out of it. What, well, besides being tired and dirty? Oh, and having my fiancé run off and sulk for some reason. No, you got to see why Liam is with Nina. I thought that was obvious. She's beautiful and funny. Oh, and has an excellent attitude towards men. 
And she's also opinionated, feisty, and a little bit full of herself. <laughs> so basically, she's pretty much just like you. What the hell are you saying? That Lynn's dating her as a substitute for me. Oh, no, not exactly. Actually, no, no, that is exactly what I'm saying. Oh. Don't you think it's cool? No, and you're completely wrong. Oh, not wrong. You can't get the real thing, so he's dating an imitation. I think she'd be flattered. No, well, I'm not. Okay, and you need to remember, I'm getting married in three weeks. I, just so you know, these are real people with real feelings. Okay, and you're toying with them. And just so you know, I don't want to hear anything else about Liam or Nina or any kind of matchmaking. Okay? Okay.